Do you have a large, beautiful handcrafted soap from one of your favorite YouTubers and have nowhere to put it? I have the solution just for you. So I was looking for an oversized soap dish and I, for the life of me, I could not find one that was pretty or cheap. So I was like, hey, I can, I can make some. I know how to make stuff. So I picked up these mini uh, tray molds, which happened to fit perfectly and decided I would make a bunch of them and just have fun. So for our first tray mold, I'm doing a blue kind of dirty pour and you'll see that I'm using a teal pigment. And for the second color, I'm using a little bit of a white pigment and they're not alcohol inks, they are pigments. I'm leaning towards pigments these days. Uh, and next up I have this interesting glitter type silver leaf foil stuff that I picked up from Michaels. I think they want it to be like silver leaf, but it doesn't act like silver leaf. It's just more of a chunky glitter. It adds some uh, funky shapes to your piece. And here I'm adding the pores and we'll pour it in. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot my glass glitter. What would I do without putting glass glitter in every single project I have? Probably just die. And for this next one, I will utilize my large collection of pressed flowers. Some are laminated, some aren't. And for the next tray, I wanted to try and get that toning right for the resin. And this is just a little hack. Uh, when your resin kind of goes kind of yellow and you think, oh, I can only use this for opaque stuff or dark stuff, you can actually add a smidge of blue or purple. In this case, I do both to tone out the yellow and uh, this is a trick used by hairstylists. If you ever get your hair bleached and it turns yellow, they will put a toner on it, which is usually purple. So that's a little trick that I figured out that you can use. And for this next one, I figured to use a warmer silver leaf, metallic leaf mix, which will go well with the cooler colors and the leaves and the 
purple flowers on those little tiny plants. And for whatever flowers you're doing, you really want to make sure you smush them down so they don't float back up. I would actually recommend doing two layers because, as you will see in our next pour, they do and will float up. All right, sorry about the background noise. I'm currently 3D printing or doing something for a uh, for a video, upcoming video. Um, shit, my battery's low. So I'm gonna demold this one first. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah. I was not expecting, like, this nice clarity we have going on here. That's beautiful. I thought it was gonna be cheesy, but it's uh, this gold leaf at Michael's though. It's, I think they mean it to be like a gold leaf, but it's more like a glitter because it literally just like sinks to the bottom while gold leaf is light enough that it can get suspended. Um, and this is for my future mother-in-law for Christmas. I thought that these were gonna get stuck because of the heat that was coming off of these. But so far so good. And that's so pretty. Made use of the pressed flowers I had laying around. I like how the leaf kind of fell into these edges and these can be used as soap dish or jewelry tray, whatever you desire. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I did not want these to float to the top, but they did. Next time I need to secure the layer of resin below in the first layer. Oh, all of them did. That's funny. <laughs> but it looks kind of cool. Except for these stupid bubbles. Maybe I'll put a another layer. Is it bent upward like that it's kind of weird yeah this came out kind of cool got all these orchids and gold leaf
Overall, I really liked how they turned out. I think they make a perfect little soap dish. Again, check out Royalty Soaps for a good time, a relaxing time, and just a wholesome time. It's a great channel. Um, and buy some soaps. The soaps are great as well. You can tell there's love in every bar. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one. Keep creating.